Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump has announced his intent to run. It is official. You might say, oh, well, you know, he didn't announce his presidency or his, his campaign to run for president. And it's like, well, the time is coming, he said. So Trump is the overwhelming favorite for 2024 among the conservative base at CPAC in Texas. He won the, the unofficial straw poll or the official straw poll by an overwhelming majority over Ron DeSantis, who's also fantastic, but we need Trump. Too many people, too many morally superior, highly educated, wonderful, apoplectic, almost always hysterical, but always highly educated, liberal Democrats. There's fantastic people. They've tried desperately to prevent this man from running. And that, that in addition to record highs in household median income, uh, real wages up, growing economy, hundreds of thousands of new manufacturing jobs, as opposed to the nightmarish um, economy we have now and foreign policy. That is a reason to vote for Trump. I think it's a moral imperative to vote for Trump when you have so many people trying desperately to make absurd claims about this man, from uh, being installed by the Kremlin to being this... Um, obstacle to democracy. These are the people who can't even run a functioning primary. These are the people who cheat Bernie Sanders every four years. Then they talk about how Trump is a menace to democracy. It's like, look in the mirror. But anyway, uh, hit subscribe to this channel. By the way, I will have a live stream tonight at around nine o'clock. So be here for the live stream at 9 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to read you this Fox News article. Donald Trump hints at 2024 White House comeback bid. The, the time is coming, he states. Former President Donald Trump strongly indicated he's preparing to run for president and suggested an announcement will come soon. Everything changes, ladies and gentlemen, the day he announces. Everything changes. They can't indict him. The only way to stop Trump, because he didn't commit a crime, the only way to possibly stop him is to indict him. But then you open up a Pandora's box of... Attorney General, Republic, Trump Republican Attorney Generals. So he ain't going to have Jeff, Jeff Sessions. He will have a Trump Republican. Hopefully he, he uh, is victorious in 2024 and people vote against poverty. If you're voting for Democrats, you're voting for poverty. It's not, it's not really, you're voting for poverty, chaos, societal um, collapse. I mean, you look at what's taking place in the country today and it's like, okay, this didn't take place under Trump. You had a media meltdown. You had all the smartest people in the room, uh, hysterical, uh, raving and ranting about how bad he is and the Helsinki conference and all of these things. It's like we had record highs in household median income and personal income. Real wages were up. The economy was growing. We did not have a recession with poverty at 14 to 15% levels. We, have, we had poverty at a record low under Trump. And we didn't see the things that we see every single day. Um, you can just look at the news. Society is slowly breaking down. It's breaking apart. And this is what happens when you have uh, too many democratic policies. Okay, when you're, le when you're letting out, I'm all for criminal justice reform. But when you're letting out violent offenders, okay, only an imbecile would believe that that type of person wouldn't commit another criminal violent act. So it's like, you're like, yes, you, I'm all for actually letting out nonviolent, nonviolent. Okay. But if you're, if you're letting them out without bail for, for, for people who are committing really heinous atrocities, then, or trying to, then they're going to continue to wreak havoc upon society because there's something that Democrats don't understand that Trump understands. You understand. I understand. Okay. Here's, I'm going to speak very slowly. Okay. You can enact all these, all any legislation you want. Uh, criminals do something very interesting. What do they do? Uh, oh, that's right. They break the law. So um, they're going to find a way. And it, it, just because you can't find a way because you're a law-abiding, wonderful, morally superior liberal Democrat doesn't mean that a criminal can't find a way to obtain illegally any substance, anything they want, any weapon they want. And they do so all the time because criminals break the law. New concept for wonderful, morally superior, highly educated, fantastic Democrats. Anyway, not just that. I mean, our society, the, the economy is collapsing. We're going to have a devastating, devastating market crash. 
um, that we've that I predicted. We've we've seen what I predicted in September of 2021. Read my article in the Federalist. Uh, if you want to read my writing in the Hill, the Huffington Post, Salon, the Jerusalem Post, the Federalist, other publications, go to hagoodman.com. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you can, uh, if you want to give a super thanks to this segment, the super thanks is like is below next to the like and the share buttons. And if to my suit to my to my um, Patreons, I cannot tell you how important your Patreon support is. Uh, to my new Patreons, thank you so very very much. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's, he's not going to really like if if you if you don't like Trump's personality, great, that's fine. I respect that. If you don't like Trump's personality, I respect you for just telling the truth. If you try to conflate his personality, uh, the media caricature of Trump, and perhaps also how he you know kind of feeds or you know creates this persona because he knows the media will just you know sensationalize everything he does. But if you can't delineate between his accomplishments, who he is as a human being, or at least his accomplishments, because you judge people by their actions. You don't judge people by their words. Okay. Biden has presided over 9.1% inflation. End of story. And a recession. End of story. There is nothing. There's no other discussion there. The economy is terrible. End of story. You can end the debate there. Trump had a growing economy with record highs in household median income, and anyone who says he abandoned the working class is an imbecile who knows nothing about Trump's accomplishments or how bad things are now. But he's going to run. They, he, he, does, he hasn't committed a crime. Hunter has. Hillary did. And James Comey went to bat. And so James Comey, the director of the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation, said, well, he couldn't find intent. So the one time in the history of the Bureau that, that uh, a top official or any official said, gosh, you know, the, the criminal didn't really intentionally mean to do that. So, and I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024, or the suspect didn't. I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024. I think that, um, I think that, I think there's there's nothing stopping Hillary this this time around. And honestly, like, she'd be better than mashed potato brains Biden. But obviously I'm saying this because I, I also think that Cl Trump will, will defeat Clinton again. But Clinton should run again. And there's no, there's no shame in being uh, losing twice because you know what? Um, at least you tried. And also, um, well, anyway, there's no shame. And so you have to try in life. And that's one thing I'll give both Clintons. They never stop. Bill was actually a much better president than um, Bush. Um, or even President Obama. President Obama destroyed Libya. So Bill Clinton doesn't have that uh, in his resume. Uh, but Trump was a better president than any president in my lifetime. Um, you look at the economy. You look at foreign policy. Doha agreement that Biden botched. But it was Trump who brought home Americans. Not Biden. Biden reluctantly did so because he was forced to because of the Doha agreement. You'd have to know a little something about foreign policy to understand that. Okay. The Lincoln Project people are embedded within the Democratic Party. They don't want Americans coming home. They look at everything like a Stratego or Dungeons and Dragons board game. And they look at, they look at the world as just a bunch of chess pieces. That's why um, Cheney, Rumsfeld, Bush, all of these people are relics. They're dinosaurs. Because Trump kicked them all out. It took about two seconds for Jeb Bush to lose miserably to Trump in the primary in 2016. It was hilarious. Nobody believed. He couldn't even say. One of the things, if you remember, and this was a long time, not a long time ago, but Jeb Bush couldn't even say that the Iraq war was a, was a mistake by his brother, um, George W. So he couldn't even say that. Then he backtracked. Then he said, yo, yes, you know, Trump is not, he's against counterinsurgency conflicts. But see, again, uh, I was told by one person on the left once, well, climate change affects the planet. And anyway, um, these, these soldiers, they signed up for it. It's like, oh my God, now I know. Now I know the, the twisted and warped mentality. They would rather have never-ending wars as long as they think climate change is being uh, combated. There is no way to categorically uh, state or define or um, tabulate or, or conclude how 
your climate change policies protect the planet. There's no way, other than a whole bunch of people agree with it. Now, I'm, I agree climate change is very important. It's a, an issue to, to combat. But not when you have a recession or not to bring you into a recession. Hey, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Be here tonight for the live stream in a couple of hours at around 9 p.m. Pacific. Thank you so very much.